There's been a couple of useful changes to Bob's Track Builder navigation. Firstly, you're no longer limited to looking at these four screens by pressing the numbers 1, 2, 3 and 4. You can switch between the different modes. Uh, mouse navigation on these orthogonal views um, haven't really changed much. The middle mouse button allows you to push it around or you can use your, your keyboard for that. Uh, you can use your wheel to zoom in on a particular point um, or again use your keyboards plus and minus keys for that. Um, similar operation in the 3D view um, except you can right click and, and um, look from side to side as well and zoom in. Holding shift down accelerates that or lift it uh, off the shift for finer control. Um, if we switch into 3D mode now you'll find that when you do hold shift down and move about the rotation is about wherever you've clicked so at the moment I'm rotating around that tree there um, but if I had clicked on this one then all the rotation occurs around there um, so that's actually handy for, for moving about and the other thing I've shown in other videos is the the jump. If you double right click you can jump to an area on the track and that makes it quick and easy for moving around. And of course we've got the the good old drive along your road fly on top of it and or fly down low and um, the flying now no longer goes through your ground um, and the other thing I added when I was working on the laser scanning project was the bop about and that just sort of flies around like that. Um, it was pretty useful for me to line up different scans, different laser scans. I don't know how it's going to be useful for you guys. Um, give me feedback on that and I'll remove it or fine tune it maybe. And that's it.